This is a very popular fringe meeting. You bet. really what politics is like now. Brexit sits right at the heart of it. It's very highly charged, very passionate, it's very divided. It's a public meeting in a public hall. It's very important to have a discussion. I'm not Ask sure. Oh, all right, what would you like to and ask? And your me? disgusting views okay. are not welcome here. What do you disagree with me about? With everything you have abortion right, okay. rights, women's rights, okay. austerity, so, everything. Okay, but You're specifically. You're a despicable person. Well, that's, we may disagree on things, but just because you disagree with somebody it doesn't make them a bad person. I think people want us to continue, I, I so we better get on. Less. I couldn't but we better get on. Because they all nice to meet you. Thank you. No, I'm sorry. Filming. We talked to you for a minute. Yeah, of course. Did you vote in the referendum last year? Yeah, I voted to leave. Why did you vote to leave? Because I want the immigrants out of my country. Do you? Let me ask you one more question then. Uh, we've just been on a fruit farm not far from here. I mean, what? you know who picks and packs all the fruit. Yeah, right? immigrants, yeah. Yeah. And what would happen if they all went home? Well, the English have to take their place, wouldn't they? Yeah, but they won't do it, apparently. Well, we've sweet. You're, you're a minor, aren't you? Uh, no, I just ask questions. Yeah, that's why. I wish they'd get their asses into gear. What, do it? Yeah. We voted to leave. That was the result. Leave. Sort it out. This woman here voted remain, I guarantee you. Excuse me. We have journalists. We work for The Guardian. Which way did you vote? To remain. See, I knew. <laughs> what do you think gives you away? That looks quite the same. <laughs> it's the bike, isn't it? The flowers, it was the bike and the flowers on your bike. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Everyone I've met, though, up to now, before I met you, voted leave, and it's very are very strong in their opinions, you yes, know. They've got some resentments about yeah, but then, the place that the fact the place hasn't had enough attention maybe and the economy isn't what it should be here. Because of their resentment they're blaming the wrong people, aren't they? Where are you from? Romania. Romania. Do you go back to Romania soon? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. October. And are you coming back next year? Yes, I I want, but... You don't know? The Brexit. I don't know how, what to say about Brexit, because in my country, people are not very happy for this. And uh, your pound? Uh... It's physically hard work. We start very early in the morning. We can't get people locally to do it. They we just try? don't want... Every year we try. Um, most who say they're going to come don't actually turn up and those who do turn up last a day or two. A certain sort of person would watch you saying that and say, well, why don't you pay people more? We are limited by what we are being paid, so we have to make a margin. So if we're being paid X for a punnet of fruit, there's no point in paying our staff more than that to pick it. It's been much more difficult this year sourcing enough people. Early season we were not able to pick everything, we were losing fruit. We had about um, seven or eight acres that we were unable How to pick. How many tunnels is that? Uh, there'd be about 10 of these to the acre. Wow. For a month earlier in the summer, because of labour shortages related to Brexit, the fruit in 70 of these was lost, 70. I think it's not only bad for us, it's bad for people from England because I don't know how many people come here to work if we are not here. Yeah, and then there's no fruit for anybody, right? Yes, in supermarket you don't see with uh, ticket British. And the question is, who's going to pick the and pack the fruit? Uh, that's a good question. Would you do it? Would I do it? Yeah. I'll do it if they pay me. Well, not the minimum wage. You well, that's what you're getting. Yeah. Seven pound eighty an hour. Well, that's what you get. Them. I don't want none of that. If you pay me eight fifty, I'll pick the fruit. But then the fruit's going to be more expensive, yeah. and you're going to be able to buy it. That's what you're saying? If they all have to go home, then they'll be nobody to pick the fruit. Well, that's what they say. Don't be so ridiculous. Who would stupid? Who would pick you the fruit? Funny little man. Now, obviously, I well know that hanging around a shopping centre mid-afternoon on a weekday, you are going to tend to get a certain kind of person with a certain kind of view. Nonetheless, these are the people whose opinions are pushing the country in the direction that it's going. 
the way I see it, the money that we plough into there could have, could have gone to our hospitals. That it could build up our NHS. It could boost that up. How do you think the country will change? It will become great again. Do you? Yeah. Do you really think that? <laughs> yeah. You sound like Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? Iran. You're from Iran. I want to say bookie cheating. <laughs> Why? Because you keep losing. <laughs> what about Brexit? That's a gamble. It's better. Yeah. Brexit's better? Yeah, we, we, we exit because too many foreigners come. What, like you? I am British. Are I you? am 20 years here. It's all Polish taking our job, taking your job, not our job, your job, school, your uh, train, your bus, all. Busy. I like it. You don't worry that the country's going to be in a bit of a mess because of Brexit? No, it's good. Going to lose, like tra it. Going to lose trade? Companies no, will pull out? No, no. Fruit rotting in the business fields? Business people will lose money, not poor people like me. Good luck at the bookie. You're Cheers. welcome. Thank you. One thing that probably isn't worth a pun is the form of the local football team, Gillingham FC. It just so happens they're at home tonight in the middle of something of a losing streak. The main reason we came here was because lots of people here voted for Brexit a year ago. Yeah, I did. Did you vote for Brexit as well? Yeah. Why did you? <laughs> you end up paying all this money for silly rules. Like this, and you got this, you got oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. You seem to be governed by people who know them, think they know everything, and you don't get nothing back. What's going to happen to the country in the next two or three years? <laughs> I am optimistic, actually. Are you? Yeah. How's the team doing at the minute? Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> Struggling. Struggling. We look like 11 strangers on the pitch and, and... Nah, teamwork's a problem. All sounds rather familiar. They don't seem to have gelled as the players, you know? Not for the right kind of unity. I thought last year's squad was the worst I'd ever seen. This year's squad is awful. The manager was out of his depth. The person in charge was out of their depth. Now we so you, get up there again. You got some faith of you? Yes, we've got to have faith. So how the future will turn out okay? Yeah, I wanted to get a decent manager. speak for England. Not any old Brexit, not a second hand Brexit, not a Norway or Swiss Brexit. I'm Are you? Can we follow you out? I have spent time recently yeah. at a fruit Sorry. farm in Kent, yes. which is already experiencing labour shortages. We're going to lose our interview. Raspberry. Hang on a second. Could, Ras Jacob, could we just do it very no, quickly? Can I just talk you to can you? ask the question. Raspberries have already rotted in the field. We should be implementing a seasonal workers programme from outside the European Union as soon as possible. We have focused on the narrow European sphere rather than looking broadly to the world. That's been a great failure policy whilst we've been in the European Union. Far away. This country is divided, isn't it? Split down the middle. But compared to Germany, I mean, look at Spain. There's no good bottling these things up. You need to have a frank discussion. We've had it, we've had the referendum, and democracy has succeeded. This is very good news for the United Kingdom. Well, there you go. A lot of faith, hope, optimism, despite a string of bad results and the fact the team's not performing terribly well. So what keeps people coming to party conferences, I'm starting to worry. The rest of us are about to get relegated.